Hi everyone, welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to create our own mini decentralized wallet. Now this decentralized wallet will have functionalities just like MetaMask. Like for example, we will be able to create accounts like dynamic accounts, just like MetaMask. We will be able to generate private keys from those accounts, just like MetaMask. And we will be able to sign the transaction and send Ether to our friend just like metamask so this will be an exciting project i hope you are excited for this video and if you are excited let me know in the comment section so let's start with the course so now it's time to create our decentralized or i will say mini decentralized wallet so now it's, so now it's time to create our mini decentralized wallet and in order to do that as you can clearly see that i have created this folder inside this visual studio code editor and i will click on new file where i will write let's say mini wallet okay mini wallet dot js and now inside this we will write our code now before that what i'm going to do is i will open my terminal by doing control plus backticks and inside this i will install first of all the dot js or before that let me do this npm init dash dash y so that we have our package.json file created and now what I will do is I will install web3.js library. Okay. So now it is installed. And now we will install one more thing, and that is npm install.env. Now this is we are installing so that we can keep our API as well as private key safe. Okay. So let me now clear the terminal. So now we have both of these packages. And first of all, we will import the dot env module. And you will understand if you do not know about this, like what is the use of it? Config. Okay. Now I will import Web3 module. So Web3 require and then Web3. Okay. Like this. And now what I will do is I will. Now comes the important part where we are going to connect our Visual Studio Code or not actually our Visual Studio Code, but our computer to the blockchain network. Currently, our computer, which is a part of our traditional world, right, does not have any link to the blockchain. So it requires a link so that it can talk to the blockchain. And for that, we are going to use getblock.io. Now let us understand the use of getblock. So this is you, let's say, or let's say me, okay? And I want to communicate from this blockchain. This computer, which actually belongs to this real world, wants to talk to this blockchain which actually belongs to this blockchain world so you can clearly see that we have these two different worlds one this real world and another one this blockchain world so we need a medium in order to have a communication between these two different worlds right and that medium is nothing but that medium is get block this get block act as a medium between this real world part that is between this uh, the, between the world where this computer belongs and this blockchain world part and with the help of which this computer is able to talk to this blockchain world let's say this computer wants some data about this blockchain it can get that data from this blockchain or let's say this computer okay we want to do some kind of transaction we want to perform some kind of right operation on this blockchain we can do that using this computer by using this get block so this get block is acting as a bridge between these two different worlds. Now, in order to use get block IO, what we will do is actually get block dot IO. Uh, what we will do is first of all, we will access the API key and we will access this API key. We will actually generate this API key from get block IO website. So let me go to that. So this is the website of get block. Okay. And I will share the link in the description of this video so that you can use that as well. And now what I will do is I will connect this website either with my MetaMask account or with my Google. So I will use my MetaMask account so that I can connect to GetBlock website. Simple. I will unlock this. And now what I will do is I will select MetaMask and now I will sign it. Okay. So now once I have signed in, you can see that I have already created some endpoints. And if you are not seeing anything on your screen currently, do not worry. I will tell you how you have to do that. So. First of all, what you have need to do is let me delete this for now okay, and let me remove this for now as well. So what, what you will do is, first of all, you can create any of your projects. Like you can see that these are some untitled projects because I was just trying how to use it. So let me create a new project so that I can show you. So this is Ethereum wallet. Okay. 
I'm going to generate the API for this. And in this protocol section, I will select Ethereum. And the best part about GetBlock is they provide you a lot of, you know, APIs to connect to various kind of blockchains. So I will select uh, where it is Ethereum. So here this is our Ethereum. And now what I will do is I will select go really test network here. Definitely you can also go for main network, but definitely for the main network part, as you all know, we need to pay some money, right? And which we both do not have. So what we are going to do is we are going to try for the test network. And the same process that I'm going to do for the go really test network, you can do for the main network as well. So I will select go really, and then I will click on this get. So as soon as I clicked on this get, you can see that this is your JSON RPC. So you can either go for WS or you can go for JSON RPC and I will go for JSON RPC. I will simply copy this down, go back to my Visual Studio code. And inside this, I will create one more file by the name of .env. And inside this .env, we will have the API key. So this is a variable. And inside what we will do is let me paste the link that we have copied. We will simply take this one. Let me zoom out a little bit. So we will simply take this particular part, okay? This particular part, which is after this slash and before this slash, I will simply copy this down and I will paste it here. So this will be the API key and this API key, as I said, will actually help us in connecting to the blockchain so that we can talk to the blockchain. Let me remove this, okay? And now the second part is inside the env file will be private key as i said both of these things we need to keep private so that they are not accessible to the public otherwise we will be in problem so let me have our private key and to get our private key i will again go back to our browser and inside this i will get my private key from my account so let me see whether i have some ether okay i have very few amount of ethers let's see whether it will work for it or not and now i will fetch my private key and to fetch your private key, you have to simply click on this three dots, go to your uh, account details, export private key. And remember, do not share your private key with anyone. I'm doing this currently so that I can demonstrate you this. Okay. You do not need to share your private key with anyone. I will type my password here and I will simply click on confirm. So this is my private key and I will simply copy this down, go back to my VS code and paste the private key here. So now we have the API, which will actually help us in connecting to the blockchain and we have the private key so that we can do transactions on the blockchain, right? And now I will cross this down. So in order to fetch my API, I will simply write process.env and then the API key. Okay, so this is done. And then in the network section, so we will tell, okay, we are using Corelli test network. Okay, and let me put this inside double quotes, right? And then we will have the node part. Okay. So inside this, you have to simply paste this thing and I will share this as well uh, in the description of this video. Okay. So that you can have this node part so that we can talk to the blockchain. So this will consist of the API key, which we have fetched from the .env file. And this is your node. Okay. And I will show you that we do have our API key and uh, now let me simply create my object of web3 so simply doing new and then web3 and inside this we will have node okay and in order to check whether we have the basically the object of web3 or not we will simply console.log web3 so that we can check right so inside this i will simply do node mini wallet.js so by doing node mini wallet.js this file will get run and we will be able to see whether our uh, like uh, whether we have the aweb3 or not and one thing that i am noticing is it is api key right so let me have api key okay now this is done let me check this okay so as you can see that we do have our web3 object and if we do not have our app3 object you will be seeing some undefined kind of a thing but still everything that we have done till now it is correct and that's why we have the object of web3 in which we are going to use in order to create our mini decentralized application okay so now let me go through the next step and in the next step what i'm going to do is like you might have seen in metamask wallet right like let me go to the metamask wallet so if i will go to the metamask wallet you will see metamask gives this functionality in order to create a new account right so if i will click on this create account 
an account will get created by metamask wallet so let me do it for you so that i can show you let's say a random account okay and you will see that you have a random account and this random account do have there it's like its uh, account address as well as its own private key right let me show you that as well so let me confirm so you can clearly see that we do have our account which we have randomly created using metamask wallet and it does have its own private key so let's say i want the same kind of functionality in my wallet i want to generate a new account so what how what can i do in that case simply i have to write account to okay so this is a variable name and then we will simply do web3 so i'm using the web3 object then eth dot accounts dot create and with the help of this i will be able to create a new account yeah and a random account will be created using this particular syntax that i have used okay and let me show you that as well so let me console dot log this account to okay so this is the first step that we are doing right uh generation of our creating of our creation of our uh, decentralized wallet so let me do that okay this is cool this is so cool so we do have our random address and this random address does have its own private key and we are going to use this account in order to send some ether okay so this will be a interesting ride and let's say if you want to fetch any of a particular thing from this object you have to simply do dot let's say i want to fetch the address part i will simply run it again and you can clearly see now it is fetching the address okay actually why it is showing us a different account than this particular account the reason is very simple because uh, uh, it is when we run this file again right so it generated a new random address okay so that's why we are seeing these two different accounts so let me do this let me uh, first of all do console.log and account to so let us run this at the same time so actually what this particular thing is doing is it is actually gen randomly generating an account like metamask when we clicked on that new button new account button so it just uh, randomly created an account right so the same thing we are doing here as well so now let me run this again at the same time so now we can see that uh, this is the address right and we are fetching this particular address from this particular object okay so this was our first step so this will be the account where we are going to send some ether so let me now console like let me now comment this out so that you can refer to it later later actually and now let us create a new account by the name of account from now this will be the account from which we are going to send ether and which account this will be this account will be the one for which we have fetched the private key okay so we will generate account address from a private key so now again this is a cool process i think right so i am going to fetch my private key from the .env file by doing private key okay you can clearly see that we have the same variables private key and i'm fetching the private key now okay uh, let me have this private key not account right we will fetch an account from this so this is our private key and now in order to generate address from this private key i will simply use again web3.object.eth accounts dot private key to account okay so this will convert our private key back to its account address so i will simply have my private key inside this and let me console dot log this account from for you let me show you let me again run this particular file so okay account from okay so we have this account from and if if you will see yeah if you will see we have the account address and if you will match this account address to our metamask wallet for which we have actually provided the private key I think that was this account, right? 0A2C. So you can clearly see that 0A2C and 0A2C are the same account, right? So you can clearly see that we have the account address generated from our private key. Let me clear this down again. Okay. Now let me create a new function with the help of which we are going to sign our transaction. So signed EX. It will be an async function because we are going to use uh, some uh, what should i say promises inside this so raw transaction and i will do raw transaction dot gas so this will actually provide us the gas estimate for this transaction await web3 dot eth dot estimate gas so that we can find out the gas that we are going to use for this amount for doing this particular transaction sending ether from account to to account and then i will simply return await account 
from dot sign transaction and inside this i will again have my raw text and i will send the raw transaction inside this create sign transaction so that you can understand this in a better way okay and now we will create one more function by the name of send sign px and inside this we will have the signed px send signed px and inside this we will have the signed px so inside this we will again use f3.h and this function is actually in order to send the sign transaction this function is signing the transaction and now we are sending the sign transaction to the ethereum network so that miner can check and do all the stuff that they usually do right and then we will simply use the send signed transaction okay and inside this we will have the sign tx dot raw transaction so this will be provided by the sign transaction object okay so we will fetch the raw transaction and then if we want we can console dot log this console dot log this okay so now it's time to create our raw transaction right this thing so first of all let's say i want to send seeing my ether balance i do have a less amount of balance so i will transfer some ether to my wallet uh so let's say i want to send 0.01 ether to my wallet and then i will do raw transaction is equal to okay now inside this i will have my two so this will be the address at which i want to send some ether so two dot address like this and then we have the value so the amount that i want to send so the amount is this per particular value but uh, since whenever we are doing any kind of transaction on the ethereum blockchain and when we are using vector.js library all the transactions actually happen in way not in ether but in way so we need to convert this ether amount okay which is actually given in ether to way in order to do that i will simply use web3 utils method to convert the given amount that is amount to ether okay and now since we have this raw transaction we will simply first of all create a transaction from this and then what we are going to do is we are going to send this sign transaction so this is it okay i think uh, i made a mistake it should be send sign okay so now this is it if everything is correct inside this particular file then we will be able to run this particular transaction we will be able to send 0.01 ether from this account not actually from this account but from the account that we are creating this transaction that is from account to this account too okay so now it's time to run this okay let me go above and if everything will be correct uh, ether will get transferred and let's wait it will take some time because we are doing this transaction on go really test network and test network behaves just like our main network so it will take some time and here this is our transaction so hooray we have done a transfer from this account let me check what values do we have in our screen so we have the block hash we have the block number so this is the block number on the ethereum blockchain right on the go really test network so this is the status and this is the account to which we have transferred the amount this is the transaction hash let us quickly check this let us quickly check this on the go really test network let me copy this down okay let me copy this down and now let us paste this so i am on this go really etherscan.io i'm going to paste this transaction hash just search for it and congratulations so currently you can clearly see this is my account that is this account from which i have done this transaction and if you are thinking that how i have increased my ether balance so i have transferred some ether from the ethereum uh, from the go really faucet right that's why i have an increased amount of ether in my wallet okay so if you will see uh, from this account that is zero cross a to c this account i have transferred 0.0 ether 0.01 ether at this particular account address that we generated using web3.js library so if you will go to this account so this is the account at which we have done the transaction and the balance of this account is 0.01 eth and with this we have completed our course and i hope you enjoyed this course and if you have enjoyed this course please let me know in the comment section and if you have liked this video please subscribe to the channel as well because i'm regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel so meet you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye